Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel, SAP SD and ABAP Leak Support. Sorry for not publishing videos in last uh, three days due to some personal reasons. Okay, so today also we will discuss about one more SAP SD enhancement relevant to output only. This time we will develop one new custom uh, routine and assign to the custom output type. Okay. First of all, there is a requirement from business that they want to trigger the output, order output in case whenever any new item has been added to the order. This is one of the case. Like a new item addition. Okay. Quantity change plan change rd change so any changes so based on the requirement if this changes has been done in the order level okay in those cases they want to receive one more output type on the order level whether it might be in a idac output type or email output type print output of anything they want to get one more output type now let's see how to achieve this. Okay, first of all, to achieve this, we should uh, in that configuration level, in the NAST code, we should have done some config has been enabled. If I go to the application V1 and I click on the output types, we know that right last time we created one new custom output type that is ZDA00. Okay, double click this one and let me go to change mode. So remember that this flag multiple issuing should be enabled this is a prerequisite first of all okay enable the flag multiple issuing in nasty code for the relevant output type okay, this should be enabled if we don't enable this then what will happen in the change of an order, a change of the invoice, a change of delivery, any change transactions, that point of time, even though we do changes, output won't trigger. Remember this. This is to this flag is simply to trigger issue the output multiple times. Issue the output multiple times in case of change scenario, change transaction only. Okay, this should be enabled first. Let me save this. Once it is enabled, the next step what we need to do is that we need to develop one custom routine, right? So let me go to Vivo FM. In Vivo FM, it is in under the menu requirements, and here you see output control. Okay, this menu requirements menu contains the recurrent routine for all case of different scenarios like pricing requirement routine output return and uh, listing exclusion free goods like this we have uh, recurrent routines available under this menu only so let's click this output control here we need to develop a new output type so what i will do i will copy this okay we'll copy this um, Okay, let me open the source code for this one and uh, copy all the code from here to our new custom routine. Okay. So let me put the document.
okay copy the existing routine and create new one copy all the code inside this uh, routine and uh, go back create the new one okay let me create the new one scroll down let me make it as in uh, 973 something and uh, order change confirmation okay fine applications v1 enter okay it has been done now let me save in workbench here now let me open the source code for this one as of now there is no code written here right so let me copy the code what we have added in that um, okay let me go to edit okay let me open that code in different window okay, that is uh, standard routine 2 let me open it in this window okay so you might get one question here see in the routine number 2 we have two forms here kobed underscore double zero two and kobev underscore double zero two okay so which cases these two routines will trigger this forms will trigger right so whenever system going to get all the output types from the output procedure that point of time this routine will be triggered right so that point of time system will check this is the one kobev 002 okay this is the header level validation if this is not satisfied okay if this is not satisfied then output won't go to next level if this is satisfied then only this will be triggered kobed underscore 002 so this is the header validation kobev is header validation and kobed is in both header and item validation but initially when that output picked from that output procedure that point of time kobev only hit so remember this point then you can understand where you are going to write the logic okay it's always suggestible that we should add the logic in both places fine so let me copy this code whatever we have added in kobed because i want to have the same validation in my custom logic also okay let me add this one here right so now what we are doing we are going to validate the same logic in our standard custom routine also this is a basic uh, validation happening like uh, the document is completed okay and uh, the confirmation status is also completed and no delivery block and no blink block this is a basic check written in the routine number two i have copied everything as is from two to our routine okay this is the first thing now second thing is that as i mentioned we want to trigger this output type whenever a new item addition right or uh, item change sorry item quantity change or plant change right for example let's take example of plant change so how to add this logic the logic is simple so first we need to declare one constant here okay constants okay and uh, we know that right so in this uh, routine level there is no pricing structures will be 
I mean this uh, other data won't be available like uh, other header data VBA K data VBA P data VBE P data No data will be available. What what we see in this routine is that we can see only the Communicate structures only that is KYM key BB1 and KYM BB1 only. so Let me add this point also The routine we can see In the routine we can see only the structures KOMK BB1 or KOMP BB1 Right, so then how can we get the plant information from VBAP table or schedule line information for an order item level, right? So you no need to bother about these things as functional consultant, but it's good to know, right? So this is purely technical stuff only. So how to retrieve the data? Then what we need to add here is that we need to add this statement like uh, we know that, right? The order program is SAP MB 45A. Okay, this is the program and uh, XVB AK is that a structure available where we can see that uh, order had information. Right, similar way we have a uh, SAP MB 45A and I want to get all the data of that uh, item level means simply I can put XVB AP like this if i want to retrieve schedule and data means like this x vbep yeah so by using the statements we can simply retrieve all the required data what we need okay, let me put it in the routine okay constants See, I am retrieving. Um, okay, one second. Let me declare one variable. Will be um, VBLN type care ten value Yeah. So now what I have to, what I did now, I declared one constant variable where I am getting the order number here like this i can declare anything like if i want to get the plant information lv underscore works type works okay value again same logic let me copy it again like this we can retrieve a shipping connection data also like this only so what i will do i will add lv underscore vs bed type vs bed value again copy as it is okay sorry let me add it as a plan right it's a works it's in xvbap works and let me copy this This time it is VS BED and it's from XBB AK. See, like this, we need we can retrieve the data from the program SAP MB 45A. So we don't get all this information in our routine level. Okay. And coming to invoice output type also, there also we should add that program SAP MB 60A. That's an invoicing program, right? SAP MB 60A. So like this, we need to add our and retrieve the data like this. Then only we should add the relevant logic to update it. 
so once the validation has been done on any of that uh, checks like uh, plant changed okay if the plant changed it means you now what we need to do we need to update the size of rc equal to zero this is important thing remember this size of rc equal to zero the routine level the routine works based on size of rc only if we don't pass zero to size of rc whenever any condition has been satisfied then output won't trigger if it's not satisfied if there's no plan change, plan change happened or no new item has been added no shipping condition has been added changed then you can simply update as four only here if anything changed then make it as zero if nothing has changed then make it as four four means output won't trigger zero means output will trigger okay so this validation should be done in the routine then this should be assigned in the output procedure okay from functional point of view we should know this field only that is mehrf i just i we discussed it right the next level there's one t code right this is nothing but an mehrf <clears throat> and if this information we can see in the table t685b let me open that t685b and uh, if i search mehrf you see this multiple issue right not in this table also that is t685b all the properties and the output will be saved in this table only t685b it should be x x means enabled then routine should be developed that routine should be assigned to that output procedure then test the changes in order to get all the order related data partner data schedule lines data item data header data then we should call the program like this by adding the structure this is the structure and field value and this is the total table value so we need to add like this then put the check there after adding that uh, checks based on the business requirement then output will start triggering in the change of an order but remember to um, create the condition records if you don't create the condition records means it won't work remember this condition records for that output type if you follow this uh, these steps then uh, it will start work okay so i, I didn't explain detail like uh, the asking the routine to that output level and uh, testing it that you can do the explanation from your end okay if you still have any doubts you can please do let me know i can definitely help you out bye for now we can catch up in the next video thanks everyone